Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I am reacting to Ruby again. Surprising. Huh? This one is chapter 16. Black and white. I'm guessing this one's gonna be a Blake heavy episode. Well, just the way the last one ended. <clears throat> well anyways. Well, further ado, let's get into this episode, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what y'all here to see, right? You react to this episode? Well, anyways, and a three, a two, a one, and a Episode. Mm. Until volume two. Finally, she speaks. Nearly two days, and you've given me nothing but small talk and weird looks. Yeah, like that. Are you familiar with the White Fang? Of course. I don't think there's a faunus on the planet who hasn't heard of them. Stupid, holier-than-thou creeps that use force to get whatever they want. A bunch of freaks, if you ask me. I was once a member of the White Fang. <laughs> <coughs> Wait a minute. You were a member of the White Fang? That's right. I was a member for most of my life, actually. You can almost say I was born into it. Back then, things were different. In the ashes of war, the White Fang was meant to be a symbol of peace and unity between humans and the Faunus. Of course, despite being promised equality, the Faunus were subjected to discrimination and hate. Humanity still thought of us as lesser beings, and so the White Fang rose up as a voice of our people. And I was there. I was at the front of every rally. I took part in every boycott, and I actually thought we were making a difference. But I was just a youthful optimist. Then. Five years ago, our leader stepped down, and a new one took his place. A new leader with a new way of thinking. Suddenly, our peaceful protests were being replaced with organized attacks. We were setting fire to shops that refused to serve us, hijacking cargo from companies that used bonus labor. And the worst part was, it was working. We were being treated like equals, but not out of respect, out of fear. So, I left. I decided I no longer wanted to use my skills to aid in their violence, and instead I would dedicate my life to becoming a huntress. So here I am, a criminal hiding in plain view, all with the help of a little black bow. So, have you told your friends any of this? dust before. What if they did? I mean, the only way to prove that they didn't do it is to go to the place where they would most likely go to if they were to do it and not find them there. Right? The only thing is, I have no idea where that would be. 
Well, while I was on the ship, I heard some guys talking about offloading a huge shipment of dust coming in from Atlas. How huge? Huge. Big Shinny Company freighter. You're sure? Thanks anyway. This is hopeless. You really don't care if we find her, do you? Don't be stupid. Of course I do. I'm just afraid of what she'll say when we find her. The innocent never run, Yang. So, Blake is your friend? <sighs> yes, Penny. But you're mad at her? Yes. Well, I'm not. Weiss is. Is she friends with Blake? Well, that's kind of up in the air right now. But why? Well, you see, Blake might not be who we thought she was. Is she a man? No, no, Penny. She's, I don't know what she is. She didn't exactly talk to us before she decided to run off. I don't have a lot of friends. But if I did, I would want them to talk to me about things. We do. anything? Not really. They've offloaded all the crates from the boat. Now they're just sitting there. Cool. I stole you some food. Do you always break the law without a second thought? Hey, weren't you in a cult or something? Okay, too soon. Thank <laughs> you. 
like twice. It's not what you think. She explained the whole thing. You see, she doesn't actually wear a bow. She has kitty ears, and they're actually kind of cute. Weiss, I want you to know that I'm no longer associated with the White Fang. Back when I was with Stop. Do you have any idea of how long I've been searching for you? Twelve hours. That means I've had twelve hours to think about this. And in that twelve hours, I've decided... I don't care. You don't care? You said you're not one of them anymore, right? No, I, I haven't been since I was younger. Up, up, up. I don't want to hear it. All I want to know is that the next time something this big comes up, you come to your teammates and not some someone else. fighting. Holy crap, he was on with all them. Holy crap, yeah, anyways. Wow. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm next for you. Coming out. Ow. See, good music. suggested working with those stupid mutts from the White Fang. And you will continue to do so. We have big plans for you, Rohan. All we ask is a little cooperation. Rowan. say thank you for guys for watching like I said in the earlier before the credits and stuff subscribe like comment.
comment. See you guys later. Peace. Volume 2, coming up soon. Bye.